What is happening, everyone? Nathan coming at you with another Monotype Showdown Live. It's been a lot of fun playing this recently. All the new Pokemon Home Editions have really started to rekindle a little bit of what was lost before. I'm still not sure if we're completely restored, but you know, if you add like all the restored Pokemon that came back with Home, plus all the new History Pokemon, plus of course all the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon that I've never really had much experience using in Monotype in the first place, it's creating its own special place in my heart. So I'm kind of growing on me a little bit. We're going to continue my sort of exploratory learning more about the tier thing here with uh, some mono electric today. Mono electric, we talked about with flying, how I thought flying was maybe the most gutted typing uh, in Scarlet and Violet because of all the important Pokemon lost. And electric was maybe the number one candidate because I thought saw electric as just a classic, like, you know, I, I almost would divide mono type last generation into two tiers. There is like the bottom three, which are terrible, and then there's everyone else. And of that everyone else, I would say Electric was solidly up there. Like you could win with anything. You could even have a decent chance against Mono Ground. I lost to, uh, who was that? Professor Tesla as a uh, Mono Ground enough times to know that's a winnable matchup. Yes, it was very good, but we come into Scarlet and Violet and the loss of the Pokemon is absolutely it's like insane. Like if we look at this sample team from last generation, all the top four are gone. Let's say Zeraora and Zapdos in Taipu Coco are the three most important. Uh, you'll notice two of those are still gone. But there has been enough re-additions into Pokemon Home that I think it's worth revisiting. I don't, I'll, I'll be surprised going into it, I'll be honest, if it is able to recapture its kind of splendor from before. But there's enough stuff that I want to take a look at it. So first of all, we're going to lose Tapu Koko, which sucks. It was a great pivot. Uh, fairy type stab, it was extremely useful. And But Electric Surge, you know, I, I've said it a million times before, but the reason why I never love a uh you know a mono dragon offense or or a mono fighting uh offense team is because yes they're all good pokemon but there's nothing deeming them together i think like there's no system of offense that they can take advantage of the opponent cannot electric is a great example of why that's great because electric surge boom all my attacks are boosted boom i have surge surfer pokemon that are destroying you boom i've got rising voltage that is if you don't have a ground type literally destroying you and so electric was a very unique playstyle last generation because it came down to a lot of like okay my opponent is mono uh, uh, steel. This game is going to come down to how I wear down their extra drill. Or my opponent is mono grass. And actually, mono grass is a terrible example because they're all resist, aren't they? Um, but let's say you're playing against mono poison, and then the game becomes wearing down their Nido King or whatever, right? Like like taking down these critical critical walls that stop you from doing damage. Then once you do, electric surge, surge surfer. Plasma Fist, we're going to town. It's like it's it's a, it's a foregone conclusion. Um, so I, I thought it was a very fun, unique playstyle in that sense. But once again, we're gonna have to say goodbye to some of these mons. Zapdos coming back is huge, though, in my opinion. Um, of course, having more Pokemon that give you a ground resist is fantastic. Zapdos is a great defensive Pokemon in general, which gives you a bunch more defensive utility on your team, which I think is gonna go a long way. But also, it was a great ground type attacker too. So you'd go into your Zapdos. Your opponent's like, shit, I don't know how to answer this mod. It's great. It's got a great move pool. Okay, fine. I'll go to my, you know, Hippowdon. And then boom, it gets smoked by the super, super strong Hurricane. Now, they weren't all Choice Spec Zapdoses, but I'll be honest. I always loved the Choice Spec Zapdos personally because it was so good at controlling um, uh, your opponent's switch-ins and eliminating them. It was just a wall breaker is the word I'm looking for. It was an insane, insane wall breaker. Um, so we are, we do get you back, which is huge. But we lose, again, that unifying sense of offense with Tapu Koko. So I'm not certain if this will be the case meta-wise, but I'm going to feel pretty compelled to use Pinchurchin just because even if it's terrible, just giving us that unique edge over opponents I think is going to be really important here. Um, we do get Raichu Alola back, but I don't think there's any Rising Voltage Pokemon anymore. Yeah, Rising Voltage is gone, which is kind of devastating because Raichu Alola never hit that hard like 95 special attack it's just it's it's pretty mid and rising voltage gave it like a serious oomph to it right you can compare you could uh combine this with a grass knot for once again those ground type swap ins and you know grass knot those and then rising voltage everything else but we are going to lose that so like you're forced to run thunderbolt here like yikes um and zero aura you know i think just you know a, a meat and potatoes <laughs> good mon great speed tier always does something for your team, I find, even if it's like a terrible matchup and you're hard countered, like you knock off in close combat something or keep this guy as a, as a closer and it's always a little bit useful. Um, so important losses. We do get Regieleki back. Regieleki is a Pokemon that like, I'll be honest, I always saw because it's kind of interchangeable with Raichu Alola. 
Raichu Alola uh, had a little bit more versatility to it, where again, you had Psychic, Knockoff in this case. You didn't keep Knockoff, did you? Yeah, no one did. Um, you had a bit more versatility in your move pool, and you could handle your switches a little bit better. Whereas Regieleki with Rising Voltage was just a much pure, more pure wall breaker. Um, some people might raise their eyebrows at seeing Regieleki still allowed in this tier, but Terra Stylization is banned in Gen 9 Monotype. Uh, somewhat controversially, and that means that the thing that made Regieleki so devastating and overused is not going to apply here, right? So, yes, I, I often found these two kind of interchangeable in respect. They do just similar things. This one's a little bit more versatile. This one hits a little bit harder. Um, and I guess you don't need the uh, the uh, I can't speak the Surge Surfer, the Electrician Active, in order to be the Speed Demon, whereas Regieleki just comes at any point and is threatening. But all that said. We have some other things that are worth noting. We have a Electrode Hisui, which is a Pokemon that kind of fell under the radar with the other Hisui Pokemon. But, you know, it's also hits a rather elite speed tier. And it combines that with a very useful grass typing. You know, we're talking about Raichu Alola and the usefulness of grass not on it. Well, hey, how about a grass stab and a little Chloroblast for you? How's, how's that sound? <laughs> That'll do okay. So I think this will be a really interesting Pokemon in terms of the grass type matchup. Um, I'm not sure if we'll find room for on it. On it for it on the team. I'm stumbling over my words again here. But we also get Pokemon like Thunder Asterion back, which is useful. Um, we now have new Pokemon like Iron Hands and Pomot and Sandy Shocks. Um, Iron uh, Hands, of course, being interesting with the quirk drive of it all. So it is a bit of a unique uh, electric terrain, uh, it's not sweepers, what I was gonna say, like electric terrain abuser that we haven't really seen before. Um, so yes, very interesting. Um, there's a lot to sort of look into here. I'm not missing anyone else, am I? Types electric. I do think if we're looking for an answer for uh, Zer Aura being gone, Palmot's not a terrible answer. You lose just pretty much everything stat wise uh, and even move pool wise, because you don't have that useful knockoff. But this trade off is that instead you can go for Revival Blessing, which could be useful with a pretty weak terrain setter. And Sandy Shocks, I'd love to find room for it too. You can't get the same boost with Photosynthesis even with Cork Drive, but just a strong ass Mon. Uh, I don't think it's the typing is going to be very useful defensively, but it hits hard and has a good speed tier. Strikes me as kind of like, I guess, a faster Magnezone. Magnezone's got that excellent defensive typing. I don't know. Sandy Shocks, at, at first blush, I think, oh my God, it's going to be so useful. I'm not so sure. We also have Belly Bolt and Iron Thorns. Is there anyone else that's going to be unique? Iron Thorns, I think, might be a little bit hard to squeeze onto the team. It does have Quirk Drive, um, which might be useful. I mean, you could do that to boost your, your your mediocre speed tier. Is that even possible, though? I don't think... I think I remember someone saying that to me, that no matter how you situate things with Iron Thorns, you can never get the speed boost. I might be mistaken. Uh... Okay, so you can't get the speed boost if you give yourself no attack stat. That's good to know. Okay, so you really have to literally IV yourself to be... Oh, that's a, that's, that's bad. That's not good. I don't know if Quirk Drive Iron Thorns... I think you just use them as a wall breaker at that point. You have decent enough move pool. Uh, yeah, most of the T-Charge move pool, that's great. Um, I think you just go the full on... Boom. Go crazy wall breaker, destroy whoever swaps into you, throw a choice band on for fun and just see, you know, whatever you're going to, I got a huge hit for you. I think that's probably the play. God, Battle Charge is such a bad move. Um, so yes, I'll have to go through. We get some good mons. Um, I think we'll keep these this team structure as is. Maybe we'll change Zapdos to a more defensive set. We might need that later on down the road without having as much offense as we're used to, without having that rising voltage, frankly. But um, I'll keep this for now. We do need the Pinch Urchin for sure. The Pinch Urchin will probably be able to help our offense quite a bit. Um, we get Spikes. Toxic Spikes. We get Discharge for status. We'll likely go on Terrain Extender here because I don't think you're swapping in so much like Tapu Coco was as a pivot that you need boots. Um, last move. Uh, you do have Sacred Punch. I remember that from Random Battles. That's a funny one. Recover. It'd be a hard time saying no to recover. Memento is a great move for a setup mon like this is. And maybe you just try to win in eight turns. And I, I can see that. But my first thought is go with recover here. You know, the, the, the spikes might be really useful. Something that I always talked about last generation is how surprisingly few monotype teams had access to reliable, consistent uh, hazard removal, right? 
There was very few, you know, lots of teams had decent hazards, but nobody could really remove them and set them at the same time. Here, we're lucky enough to have a team that has both. No, you lost Defog too. Ugh. So yeah, that makes the defensive set idea for Zapdos a little bit more silly because you don't have that Defog utility like you used to. But um, you don't, yeah, oh boy. So anyways, I, I got distracted from my original point there. Having spikes is going to be useful because it was the case last generation. I'm sure it is this generation. If they go up, it's going to be harder to move them than we're used to. Um, we're just going to go max HP and defense here. We'll spadef. I'll make you bold. And then now we can start to look at the rest of our team from there. And you know, my first thought is looking at this and looking at all the Pokemon available. I just don't think we'll be able to say no to Regieleki, even without that Terra Ice threat. The fact is, if your opponent doesn't have a ground type, even without rising voltage, if you have a choice specs, Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, Regieleki, this thing is a menace on your team. You won't be able to match its speed whatsoever. It's special attack stat, doesn't seem very high, but choice specs plus transistor plus electric terrain means that you are just nuking everything you see. With rising voltage, it's like it's beyond a nuke. It is, it is, it is a orbital drop, not orbital drop, orbital, whatever, a Death Star laser. It's one of those, but it's still more powerful than anything else we'll have on our team. And it's still just a win con, right? If I'm talking about what I considered the play style of electric TV before, where it's remove and disable those ground type counters, and then you just, you know, go absolutely ham with Regieleki, we'll still have that. It won't be quite as good as it was before, but we'll still have it. You can throw a rapid spin and remove Thunderbolt there by accident. And, you know, that's always a debate is what do you do for the last move for Regieleki? I don't really care. I guess I go Terra Blast over Explosion nowadays. It's something, you know, with specs, you could still maybe to a KO a low health ground type Pokemon. Um, I should really look at the speed tiers though and see what do I need with Regieleki. Okay, I think I like this line of 525 here. I don't think we'd want to go too far below it. At that range, you outspeed um, Slitherwing at plus one, you outspeed Walking Wake at plus one, you outspeed a Poltegeist in a Cloister at plus two, Iron Moth at plus one. Dragonite at plus two. I like this range quite a bit. So yes, we're gonna go for a five, two, six. It's one of those things where like, you could just do this and I'd be fine with it, honestly, <laughs> because the difference in these other stats is really not gonna make much of a difference, but you know, what the hell? It's, it's nice to throw on when you can. Um, Cause I really don't anticipate like, you know, I guess I could come across a plus two Quackable. I guess I could come across a plus two Baxcalibur. That's probably the most prevalent threat or plus one Iron Valiant. Yeah, that one does seem a little bit scary. Um, but I don't know if it's that mm, Iron Valiant. As I, I, I said that out loud, it's like, eh, it's no big deal. The plus one Iron Valiant does throw me for a bit of a loop. Or even a plus one Roaring Moon. It's 555. Five. Uh, I can't get to 555. Five, five. And more importantly, that 525 five mark, I can't hit with a different nature. I'm really questioning it now because that extra attacking stats would be really nice. 499, Garchomp plus one. You don't care about hitting Garchomp anyways. Volcarona plus one. We still at speed. Iron Valiant neutral plus one. That's never happening. I'm actually, I am thrown for a little bit of a loop right now. I'm, I'm still going to try this, I think. I think it's worth the modest nature because your ability is mostly just hitting real hard. I might regret it. There might be a chance that if I go into a live and I lose to a plus two closer because of this, it'll be hilarious, but <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, so I think the Regieleki honestly is kind of obvious. Just, you know, if you're looking at what the win con of this team is, I'm probably also have to change you because you were a very meta specific Magnezone that was meant to eliminate and trap certain steel types, namely Extra Drill that gave us trouble. I need to go revisit Magnezone for sure. Let's look at who we have left. And I, you know, Sandy Shocks just seems a little bit redundant. If we want like a strong special attacker, yes, you have a, a, a better curveball with Earth Power and shit like that. But I don't know if that's enough to sway me over Iron Hands. Also, look at how he would be our only physical attacker at this point. We need Iron Hands. There's actually there's no debate. We need either Iron Hands or Pomot just because we have no physical attackers at this point. So I'm looking through the Smogon page here, and I see there's a couple of entries already, which is awesome. And I'm reading the description for uh, Assault Vest, the death set, and I go, this sounds perfect, holy crap. But it's recommended for fighting, but not for electric. Electric, they recommend this more offensive set. I gotta admit, it does seem kind of heat. So I think, we'll, I think we'll go with that. 
fit this in. Um, I can always do something else on the road. Look at these specific EVs. Holy crap. What is that for? And heavy duty boots versus lefties. Our team's pretty weak to hazards, honestly. If somebody threw on any hazards, we're, we're pretty destroyed. So I, I like keeping that as, as right now. You lost toxic, which is huge. So I will go to, I like protect actually. I like that thought a lot. Um, so what else am I running? Discharge would be it. Not tricking. Thunder Wave. I don't love double status. So I like Protect. I'll give us some more recovery with you. And then Magnazone. Like, I don't think we really need this unless we're really afraid of a, I don't know, a, a, a Iron Treads menace destroying us here. And then we're left on this last slot and it's tough. It's so tough. I'd love another Rotom, honestly, if I had a choice. That'd be perfect. Um... Sandy Shocks, you know, Jolteon, like all these mons down here just seem like kind of discount versions of Regieleki and kind of in the same role. I'm trying to talk myself into um, Raichu Alola, but I think I'm going to run Raichu Alola. I think I prefer to have Electro History because it's almost as much attack. It's got a stronger grass type attack to hit the ground type Pokemon. Um, and its speed is, again, completely functional for our purposes. So. I, maybe a throw you on. It does, again, seem a bit redundant with Regieleki, though, if we're being honest. Better matchup, once again, against those ground types, but Chloroblast can do so much damage to ourselves. I could do a physical Thunderous. That's the other thing I'm thinking a lot here was just, I don't love how especially biased our team is. Like, we're getting wrecked by a Blissey right now. Thunderous does have the versatility of being able to be a physical attacker. This is a third <laughs> ground immunity, which is hilarious. Almot is a bit of a discount. Zero Aura I mentioned before. I don't hate that either. I guess you could probably hit decently hard with Iron Fist, right? Bad. Double shot count for it. 120. This is essentially like a better Plasma Fist. Um, play rough. You got Mach Punch. Let's give it a try. I think the sixth slot is really going to be up for debate um, going forward. I'll do Palmot because it's fun. We'll do a... a it all is so redundant with even Iron Hands. It's not fast enough to make it worth it. No, I, I, was, I was about to say. Um, I, my heart wants to do Electric Hisui because I think that'd be great, that grass typing. But I'm thinking I'm going to want the Thunderous's physical bias here. So go with you. Uh, Prankster Defiant might actually be useful, weirdly. Uh, probably have to do Boots. Is there a reason to do Defiant, per se? What's your physical attacking look like nowadays? Oh god, even a Wild Charge? Oh, you do a Wild Charge. Go Wild Charge. We could go Cringe. Do you have any setup moves physical? We could also just make you like a, a, a support set with Taunt. You do Taunt and... Oh boy, there's not much here to work with, is there? Wild Charge, this, Crunch, Hammer Arm, you could do this. Got enough tack to kind of make it work, but it's really not exciting at all for us. In support sets, there's nothing really left either. Unless I want to do, I, I don't even know what I would do. <laughs> I could do Electric Terrain, actually. It could be a setup U-turn, Electric Terrain with Prankster, Taunt. You can do rest sleep talk is always fun. You prefer the prankster. Yeah, man. Oh man, oh man. Not enough here that's got me excited. Okay, I think I uh, sorry, it's probably like frustrating to watch, but I'm just thinking out loud about what I don't want to do here, but I think we'll go with this. Like aftermath. Um I don't think any U choice specs again, it's so redundant with Reggie Alecki. Volt Switch, Chloroblast, Substitute Leaf Seed. Right? Like, what else do I do here? Um, what's your HP stat? I don't know if I want the HP investment, honestly. Does that, does that get me anything? Having 323 versus 261 <laughs> HP off of these pretty meh defenses. You can probably take the special attack. Um, item, we'll go lefties. I think it's got to be this. 
I almost want to run Giga Drain too, but I think you might be able to get some Chloroblast HP back if you're doing this. Um, sure, and you might not want Volt Switch, might want Discharge instead. Sure, I mean, we got so much Volt Switch on this team already, right? I don't think, you know, you love it when it comes in handy, of course, but I think that's enough to get the job done. I know, as you can see, I'm pretty unclear about this team, but we're going to give it a shot. I think that that six slot is, is what's upsetting me. I think you probably need Zapdos Road and Wash. I think these two are probably very, very useful and very essential to every team. I think Pinchurch and Reggie Alecki make a ton of sense. They just find ways on the team due to that power and, you know, gives you a consistent, like, clear win con against grass my heart Chlora, no not another chloroblaster iron hands is pretty easy to put on the team at that point too because it's honestly it might make its way into most electric teams it's one of the only good physical attackers at this stage of the meta and then yeah just the sixth slot i think is is the number one question mark so i think it's kind of normal how we reach this conclusion zapdos is so essential here um this is technically a losing matchup we're resisted by everything we keep talking about how we're trying to wear down that single one or or two maybe uh, electric communities, but we have six here, so that is scary. Uh, Zapdos is, becomes very, very important. Rotom becomes pretty useless. Um, we do have a terrain battle, it's worth noting. I think I will go for Pinchurchin. Electrode is so useless in this one too, oh man. Rapid spin on Reggie Lucky is actually probably pretty important without any good defoggers for Mono Electric. Am I missing anyone? Defog type electric. <laughs> oh, how could I fit, forget Oricorio? Oh, it's so useful. So there's 26 there. That's big damage. They're threatening a rapid spin right away. That was just an easy play right here. You go triple arrows. Not enough. Let's get the defense drop either. No swap into Hurricane. There's one. We're going to win. It's going to be off of these Hurricanes here. It's no question. Electrode Hisui. Okay, you're threatening electric move. We will meet you in kind. Go to our own here. I'll just volt switch afterwards. Doesn't do enough. No threat of uh, paralysis either. You could be... I was going to say, uh, you might be forced to swap out here. I don't think you will be. This is, I guess, I was also thinking with this team, we're, we're weirdly a little bit weak to electric type attacks, especially when we are giving our opponents a boost with electric terrain. Um, you know, neutral, neutral, super weak, super weak. Iron Hands is fine, but like, that is a nice thing about Electrode is, it's not a Volt Absorb Pokemon like uh, Zoroark was, but a four times resist don't hurt. Okay. So we got you dead. I think Regilecki can kill at this point, it can. Um, I guess I'll Terra Blast here. Does more damage than anything else. Volt Switch is a chance to kill 81%. I think this guy's offensive. That would give us momentum. I could go back to Pinchurchin. No, because then they just go straight up to Rillaboom. Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that situation. We see Moongus here. Okay, so Volt Switch was the play. 34%. It's not awful chip. We'll go to. Uh Maybe Pinchurch in here. This spike would be great. Holy crap, it did weirdly high amount of damage. Uh, you were faster, right? Oh, I don't even know. 58 versus uh, 31 speed. Okay, so they are faster. We gotta swap out of here. I'm gonna go to maybe Zapdos. Just don't spawn me. Actually, we don't have to worry about that, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, Claim another. We don't claim another. What do you click? Oh, because we're not grounded. Mm, that's our win con. I need to. I need to try to wake up. I got to. I got to. So bad. Okay. Okay. Every one of these lives, I start off with a terrible lead matchup. Fifty-four percent. Holy crap! I can't beat this mon. I really can't. Kick drink kills. I could Ice Punch with Iron Hands. Hoping I'll be able to get a turn one wake up from Zapdos here. Rain's still up. I got a boosted attack stat. Okay. Chloroblast should do a lot right now. I think I sack Reggie Alecki because it's just not doing too much at this point. At this stage of the game, it's not going to be able to save us. 
Hopefully we see Rillaboom here. I'll go, I'll actually go Iron Hands. I don't think we'll see Rillaboom right away. I think we'll probably see Meow Skirata. It's probably too much. That sleep misplay was bad on my part. Also heads up to my, or uh, not heads up, uh, kudos to my opponent for calling that out. That was a great play on their part. Um, I think they probably had me there. As much as a 25% chance to kill. Probably gotta take it. Defense boost means we're not gonna get it. We definitely live. If they attack me straight up, I can kill with Drain Punch and get some health back. But if they go for another Victory Dance, it won't. I'm gonna risk it because we're down badly. Okay, that helps. Still think it's too little too late. This is probably the, one of the only Pokemon that can kill Amoongus at this point. Um, it's very scary. Hope we see Rillaboom. That's exactly who we do see. Grassy Seed. Oh, boy. Okay, so I got a Sack Pinchurch in here and try to go for the kill with Zapdos. That's fine. Trailblaze. Oh, my God. That's for sure it. Um, I'll go for a crit. It was a disadvantage matchup. I'm not giving myself too much crap. There's no way I can win now, especially with me and Skirata. That Zapdos play definitely sucks. <laughs> definitely not great. A Trailblaze? Give me the freeze just for that churlishness. No. Oh, well. Uh, you know, it's like the Rock last time. We had Rock versus Flying immediately. That's 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 tough. But starting now, we're going to win every game, including against this Monoground team. Just watch. <laughs> just watch. This is a situation where you're super glad to have Electrode, obviously. Landorus Eye still in the tier. Holy crap. Uh, wow, that's scary. Um, you are one of you two is definitely uh, water immune. I think it's got to be Gastrodon because what other ability would you run at that point? You could even do both if you wanted to. They're pretty weak to ground. It's going to be these two for sure that scare us. Um, we do have an ice punch, which is nice. You are fully useless. You are also fully useless because your job is getting up electric surge. You can do nothing this game. The road was pretty useful. Um, I'm hoping for a bad misplay here. I don't care about a Storm Drain boost too much right now. Could also go for a burn. Allows someone else to come in and do their own stuff. Um, I'll just Hydro Pump. If they're going to stay in, they're going to stay in. So the Clotzar is the Water Absorber. They got to have two then. That makes no sense. That seems weird to me. I feel like I'd prefer the Unaware Mon in this situation. But oh well, we're gonna go to. I think a Toxic incoming. We have lots of ground immune mons, luckily. Earthquake won't kill. We go for the Toxic here. We won't get anything with Toxic Spikes. And then I'll go to Zapdos here. Zapdos is probably gonna have to eat a Hurricane. I don't see how I'm breaking this Claude Sire otherwise. I don't think Electrode hits. So we'd be able to 1v1 it. Iron Hands, maybe with. Ice Punch, but it's not a situation I really want to enforce. I think it's a boost, so help me God. That's the problem with this uh, Zapdos. We love it, but it also relies on some accuracy. If we get confused here, that'd be nice. No such luck. I'll go for one more. Oh, it's annoying. Um, I think we're going to see an Iron Tread swap here. I'm going to go for a risky double switch on that to Iron Hands. Even if they stay in, I might get a shot. Yeah, my opponent's one of those players. Okay. Or they just stay in the whole game. This first Ice Punch is going to do a million. There's Gastrodon. Okay. 40%. Not bad. Terrain Punch can really do... No, that's not right, is it? They're assuming I'm still in Electric Terrain on the Calc on my right. It says it should kill. I don't believe it. I'm going to Electro it. Hopefully they don't Toxic turn one. They don't. It should be a pretty free substitute. We resist all their stabs. In comes Claude Sire. I Leech Seed here. With our recovery, we should be able to outpace it now. Ancient Power, what are you doing, man? What are you cooking? Um, love Chloroblast here. Okay, one is 46. Jeez, not enough. Uh, we'll Leech Seed, we're faster. We can substitute afterwards. Sludge Bomb comes out. Give it to me. Substitute, they swap it again. We'll happily Leech Seed you, friend. Churchin is, makes an appearance. Uh, 
I'll go for another spike. There's Lando. Zapdos being in dire straits is tough, man. We needed to win that Cloud Sire matchup, and it didn't really come close. I'm going to go to Rotom here. Yes. I don't really know what my swap in is at this point. 39 is not bad, actually. We'll totally take that. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. I think we'll see Cloud Sire here. Just completely walls us, as far as we know. Um, that's what I would do if I was my opponent. Okay, so we see Lando come. I can protect. I'm burning my electric terrain turns, but we're also weakening a really scary Mon. Um, I still don't really have a swap in as far as I know. A sludge Bomb. I died a Psychic at this point. I guess this is a good point to sack Regieleki. There's a chance it lives a Psychic. Okay, great. Okay, so we can go for a Terra Blast. I would mind keep this Mon around just to go for a spin later on. Oh, great. Yeah, we're we're chilling. Totally chilling. Between Transistor and Specs, that's that's awesome. The fact that Regieleki did literally anything this game, huge. I don't know why they didn't code Iron Treads right there. Wild play, in my opinion. Um, we will go to... I'm going to Rotom here. I'm down with it. Ruination's gonna miss. Love that. There's the clouds I was trying to bait out last time. Damn it. Um, I care about more my health more than yours. The pinch urchin here. Oh, you don't have a ground type attack. If that's the case, it should be a pretty free electrode here. The ancient power. Why? Okay. Wow. Well, that's a good play. This clouds are so freaking annoying. <laughs> it's just it's just staying in a million turns and just doing annoying shit. Okay, Landers is dead. That's good. Um Substitute's gonna do so much damage to us. But oh well. Sucks to lose a valuable mon, but we can still get a chloroblast out of it down the road. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> Hot is going to be the death of me, man. Um, okay, we're going to go to... Zapdos on the Protect. Toxic. Should have just hard swapped to Iron Hands there. Still 9% after this. Okay, you're in range of Iron Hands now. Nice. Should be enough that we can take everything. I can even Swords Dance right here, especially knowing that you're not unaware. I'm faster. Hmm. I'll Swords Dance. Yeah, I knew you'd do something silly. Uh, okay, that's great. Well, we can go for the Ice Punch. Drain Punch doesn't make too much sense on the first whiff. Okay. I'm gonna EQ now. <laughs> I guess I'll Drain Punch next time. Sure. I could do this all day. <laughs> sure. Whatever whatever makes you happy, friend. Well, that's pretty pressured next time it comes in. That's great news for us. I gotta be careful not to give it a free swap in versus Rotom or something. Uh, I will go to... I'll keep Electrode because it could definitely do something with Chloroblast down the road. I'll go to Pinchurchin. It's pretty useless at this point. I like Rotom, but I don't want it to swap in on something scary. Even a Rapid Spin might be too much damage for my preference. They have Electric Terrain. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll go for a Spike here. They say they're a huge fan. Makes me feel bad for talk, talking shit about their Clot Sire. <laughs> they're speed boosted. They're leftovers. I don't think there's any world where they kill my Iron Hand. We should get almost all of it back right here. I'll say TY, TY. If you're watching this Red Rast, I'm super sorry for <laughs> everything I did at the beginning of this. <laughs> Making me feel bad, man. If you're a real fan, if you're a real French viewer, then you would know that you should let me just talk my shit, talk my ish. 
get it all back. That's awesome. Hey, shout out to shout out to France though. Shout out to Red Rast. You know, the ice punch here should be nice little clean up. And I think that's it. Wow, Ting Lu. Bulky Ting Lu. Unbelievable. Okay, so we lose to Grass. I'd say mostly with that crucial Zapdos misplay. Like Zapdos has not been pulling its weight. It should be it should have won us both games single-handedly. Obviously the hurricane misses suck. But the first game, it, it didn't carry its weight because of that spore misplay on my part. Second game, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have isolated versus the Clodsire. Maybe I should have kept it a little bit more secure, but I just feel like I had to win that Clodsire matchup. Like, that was its main job in that game, as far as I know. Uh, okay, we are against some bug here. Uh, maybe it's a little a, bit of a buff with Cleavor. Old Corona is good as ever. Did lose Buzzsoul, who I consider pretty crucial. Scissor is not quite the same either. Interesting they didn't include it at all, actually. Um, I am going to go to you and I'm going to go for a toxic spike. I don't think you have any removal. I can rapid spin later on with Regioleki. Um, kind of just go to town with Electra, which would be nice. I think you are, uh, okay. Interesting. Poison. Okay, you're probably choice locked if that's the case. You could be like a toxic orb too, for all we know. Um, I'll go to Zapdos, should be a pretty clean answer. Unless they just read me straight up with the Stone Edge right there. That's great. Um, Volt Switch will kill. It won't kill straight up, probably, it might. But they'll die to poison afterwards. Okay, or we just get the kill straight up, love that. I'll go to Regieleki right now. Um, I still think we're faster than their entire team depending on their choice locked and I can maybe get a rapid spin going here. We'll see. Not holding my breath. You, I suspect are Scarf. I'm gonna go to Rotom, who's a good answer regardless. Yeah, I don't think it's banded damage. We're doing well right now. We're doing well. Um, I could even, Volt Switch is 44% in Electric Terrain, eh? Be a little bit low. I am slower and I could go to Hmm, Zapdos, and then, I'm not sure if I love that. If I know they're staying in, protects the right play. Burn a turn, get some recovery, Hydro Pump after the fact. Okay, it's not, that's no problem with me. Now we'll Volt Switch. It's probably a, a very easy Rapid Spin opportunity. Ace Beam. Uh, okay, we'll go to Regieleki now. Full Corona comes out. Uh, we still have speed. We might even be able to kill with Thunderbolt. Um, that's crazy. Go for it. Not quite. It's a pretty defensive one. They should be able to kill us with something now. Uh, I will go to Pinchurchin on the sack. Then we'll see what they click here. I mean, if they're psychic, I guess Iron Hands is a bad play. Zapdos. Rotom's frozen, which is pretty rough. If they're psychic, they might just sweep me 6 0 right now, honestly. And I couldn't have Rapid Spent earlier with Regilecki because then they'd be at plus 2, plus 1000. Um, Maybe I should have attacked twice there. I think, no, I think Fiery Dance would have killed. I'm pretty sure that would have killed. I think I'm just gonna have faith in the Iron Hands bulk, man. I think, you know, we've all heard the legend of how bulky this Mon is. I think it's time I just, you know, let it show up for us. We're, we're, we're gonna kill a village of Volcarons with this hit. Oh no, that's not the play. That is not the play. Not the, I, crit didn't matter. Crit did not matter. <laughs> I wanted to know if we live. The question was not whether we would kill. The question was whether we live. That's for sure nice for us. Hurricane does not. <laughs> it's the legend of Iron Hands, friends. You can't you can't be doing that. Oh, there we go. We're gonna get we're at 287 health right now. How much do we get back? 288? We didn't even get the 288. We didn't even get one health point back. That's disrespectful. X Scissor makes an appearance, but he didn't study his type chart. You're dead now. We almost net profit health in that whole exchange. That's awesome. Um, 
Lokix comes out. You're also going to give me all my health back. Buddy, Bug is a resist here. You can't be clicking this, this move. Uh, and then I'll go to Rotom. Let you kill yourself off me. Which actually is a little bit sketch because now I'm giving a free turn. Oh, okay. You'll kill me here, actually. That's good. Okay. I like that play because, I, yeah, I didn't want to give a free turn to uh, Frostmoth. So I, I like this. I like this. But luckily, I got a Zapdos here with Specs Heat Wave. You have crazy Spadef. Hopefully, Heat Wave is still enough to do it. Not enough. You can kill me here. Oh, shit. I think I just lost a Frostmoth. That's a first. Oh, that is so upsetting. I wonder what I should have done differently. So if I stayed in with Iron Hands, I would have been fine. I think, I think this is a huge choke turn 17. I think it is. If I stay in, I'm, I'm, I'm partying. I like, like, fine, send in your Frost Moth. Either kill me straight up and I go to Zapdos. You don't get a free setup on me. Or, man. Um, okay, well, no point going to you. You can even, they can even continue to set up. Um, there's no way we live this. Damn. Crazy ending. Um, you know, we somehow survive. We get a kill. Rough. Oh man, this is a rough live. It's not going. It's not going out. This is uh, going into the ether. Losing two games in my debut game here. I'll get one more. One more for the road. We won against ground at least, which is, you know, that helps a little bit. I'm just. I'm trying to to give myself some credit, but that was really just a choke. There was no reason I should have swapped out there. That was. That's tough on me. Um. Okay, so we're gonna play this game now. I'm going to lead against. That'd be one of you two. We totally lose to Dreadnought in a pinch. Uh, I will go to Regieleki as a lead. I will Volt Switch. I can maybe kill with Thunderbolt, but you're probably Sash. I'm going to Volt Switch here. Oh, it's Papasaurus again. We played them last game. Yo. Look. Okay, so we get you a, a Thrip. I kind of do wish I had Sucker Punch on Pinch or Gym. We're never clicking... <laughs> Never clicking uh, recover. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm taking a huge risk. If they sludge wave, I'm looking like an idiot, like a total idiot. Okay. I still didn't think they would attack, honestly, but that's fine. Um, we'll discharge for the kill. I think they go for, for some hazards there, but yeah, that's fine by me. I think uh, this is a pretty useful mod, actually. I was about to say, I think I'd, I'd take this. They just Chloroblast and take my damage, but no, I think I go Rotom, Fizz Def, go for Will O Wisp. Man, Bubasaurus loves going for just the immediate Dragon Dance off the rip in this matchup. <laughs> Don't think they should be able to kill us here unless they flinch. I did luck wise either, if I can, if I can say that much. Um, fair. Uh, okay, we'll go to you. I'll Drain Punch to my best matchup. I should be able to get it all back. Maybe not all of it, because Drain Punch doesn't give you that much recovery. Yeah, actually, only only half of it back is just pretty sad. Arcanine was Scarf last time we played this. You cannot kill me. Where did my calc play rough can? Hmm. Well, I'll go for the terrain now. No time like the present. Psychic Bangs, okay. Uh, That would not have killed earlier. Okay, so that's on me. I think... Toxic Spikes is optimal here. Oh shit. That's not good. That's really not good. I hope Reggie Lucky can still get a kill. Because that's quite bad. Or we get a Paralysis here, which would help. Okay. Um. Let's see. Excel Rock is a threat. They're not banded. So I definitely should have stayed in earlier. Oh well. Good chance they're Sash. And if I look at my Mons, throw on Excel Rock. 43% chance to kill Regieleki. 
Okay. It's their nature. Um, we'll definitely kill you. And we'll definitely kill. Okay, it's gotta be it's gotta be Reggie Alecki. If this doesn't work, then <laughs> this is never going live. Oh, thank God. Thank God it is sad though. Things are really gonna sweep me. I mean sweep with the most random shit this live. Um they got me dead to rights. They really do. It's tough. That's tough. Oh, it's hurt by the aftermath. Oh my god. Okay, I was about to say GG. I think we still lose to Scarf Cleavor. What are you? I don't think you were Sash. But if you are, I gotta swap. I gotta swap. If there's a world I lose, it's where you're Sash. Okay. Um two more turns of terrain. I don't think it's actually too important at this point. It might matter matter for Okoing. Arcanine Hisui. Here comes this guy. <laughs> this menace. We can kill. Okay, so I'm going to go for Bolt Switch in case they miss. We should outspeed and kill. Nice. Very nice. Now, can Iron Hands 1v1 Banded Cleavor? I don't know. <laughs> this is going to do a lot, though, and with Poison, it might come down to that. Actually, I'm I reading my calculate at Sunoco. That's huge. Oh my god. I thought I just choked another game. Nathan tries to choke every game in a row. Oh, I'm terrified. Okay, well, that was um a very harrowing, very humbling and live. Thank you for sticking with me. Doesn't feel like the defensive framework of this team is as good as I would hope for, but we also got a bit of rough luck, if I can give myself a little bit of credit. Rotom got froze and flinched to it KO'd in back-to-back -back games. Um, so like my main defensive Mon did nothing the whole time. We must have a little like eensy weensy bit of credit, but anyways, it was fun. I had fun. I hope you guys had the same. I'll catch you all next time. Make sure to comment below what typings you want to see because it looks like we'll be playing a little bit more monotype for the time being at least. And I'll catch you later. Take it easy.